Hey guys, how is it going today? Welcome to another edition of Mania Gaming. Playing some American Truck Simulator today. Thank you for joining me on this fine Sunday. Sorry, Monday. Monday morning. I don't know why I was thinking it was Sunday. Thank God it's not. Just because I would probably not be here making this video with you guys. So this sexy thing right here. Is the Freightliner Classic XL? Oh, yeah, look at this. This one in particular is by Jess Mods. I very, very much love this truck. Um, turn on our beacons to start off with. Got, and this is only customized with his truck. His custom truck is this um, uh, Detroit D60, a thousand horsepower. Got a custom lope to it. I really like this engine. So let's get her started. Um, so we're hauling wood chips, I guess, today. Um, well, make sure we pull up and do a little pre-start. Pre wow, pre-trip, not pre-start. All right, so we see our flashers are working. Indicators, both work tires looking fantastic. Condition, everything's hooked up there properly. So... You know what we like to do after that, ladies and gentlemen? Let's get the hell out of here. They both the windows are down. Oh, we're going inside. Look at this. Nice inside. Boom. Looks. I gotta change the dash. It's supposed to match the color of the truck, but it's like black, so. Let me know in the comments, guys, what you think the color of the dash should be, maybe. Um, I might change it before the end of the video, but I always like to know what you guys think. So we're going 80 miles, I believe, to Louisville, Idaho. We are in the newest state of the game, Idaho. So let's get rolling. Got that eagle up there, if you didn't notice on the hood, I think that was, that's pretty cool. Not, not a lot of trucks have that much options when it comes to, you know, hood ornaments, so I thought that was pretty nifty, man. In a minute, I'll show you one of my favorite features, also. Mmm. Ooh, yeah, you hear that? That engine brake. That's like a classic, awesome sounding. I'm gonna hit that stop sign. Nope, I'm good. So we'll get up to speed and let you guys really get to hear that very nice engine brake. Uh, as you can tell, it is not very sunny here, and uh, we're leaving Grangeville, Idaho. Maybe it'll be more sunny in Louisville. I don't know. I do know we're about to find out, though. We got the, yeah, we got the other lights on. We don't need those. We don't need them. Just hear that, guys? It's just, wow. That's an amazing sounding. I guess it's almost like my, this is probably my favorite truck now. Just, look at that. It just sounds awesome. You know, the look you give. When you just, uh, oh, you can't see my look, but I mean, I'm saying that, uh, we got those memes. Well, that's when you hear the best Jake break ever. So, look at all this beautiful scenery, but it is kind of just a tad rainy. Just a couple drops, you know, kind of hard to see. There's nothing cracking open, and if it's cracking open, I promise it is not an adult beverage. Alright kids, you know not try this at all. This is not a very safe thing to do. You might die, you might not. We just we got lucky and we didn't die. Oh. 
one of the funniest things to do, I think. For, oh, Jake break. And, oh, yeah, that's, oh, uh, yeah, that happened. Oops. Yeah, there's definitely an engine fault there. Um, yeah, I wasn't paying attention. That was a 30 mile an hour. Oops. That was the engine. Come on. Boss. There we go, baby. Oh, man. I just crashed. <gasps> what the fucking guardrail? Sorry. Try not to cuss too much, but dang, man. Well. I don't need that on. I mean, I won't be pissed at the... I left it on now. Oops. Alright. Get this truck rolling. Is this a window closed? Oh. I'm confused. Okay. Oh. Okay, it's open. Alright, I'm looking at the Yeah, we don't need to, we don't we don't need to stop at the truck scale, sorry. <clears throat> oh look, we do we did get the loose thing and it did uh It did actually clear up, that is kinda of funny. We still got uh twenty two miles left. But I mean we're in Lewis then and started to clear up here. I think the job's just outside of Lewis then so be very awesome if you would crash well talking about my game not crashing now I'm talking about the truck crashing um, where are we s well you didn't tell me what I guess all right guys we are gonna turn these flashers on just so they know we're about to do something stupid we're gonna do a Good old uh, Swift maneuver here, or CR England maneuver, or FedEx maneuver, or uh, any any guy. <laughs> That's, I'll call that the Heartland Express maneuver. Wait, oh, okay, we're going straight on. There's a night truck. I'm gonna just take it straight for me because I just that's what the one of the drivers I dealt with uh what was, was um Wow what did I just say? I don't remember. It's a Brendan Monday Um Harlan Express, that's what I was saying. I've seen some wow, wow, wow drivers in Heartland Express. I'm just like, are you, uh, this is a joke, right? Hey, hey. Are we in camera or something here? Cause this, I mean, you guys gotta be joking cause this is wow. You know, it's just like, I literally had one driver take an hour and 45 minutes to back into the spot, which 
Now, it's not even a hard spot. It's a super easy. Like, see, a lot of truckers would would and do dream to be able to back into a spot like that. Like, if this is easy, you got so much room to pull up, uh, set up. I mean, it's like one of the easiest spots you could ever have. Let's just check in here with security and we'll finish my little story here. And, uh, Oh, look at that. Nowhere near, like, a million times better than having to get into here, right? Took her an hour. No, I think it was a, it was a dude, I think. An hour and 45 minutes. Oh! 45 minutes. I was just like, what the crap? Yeah, so. So it took me. So it did take my team a little longer to load that truck since it took them two hours, literally. I'm like, my God. Right. Um, we also had a Heartland. They sh now, now, please, guys, don't think this. This is not a sexist thing. It's not at all. It is not, you know, um, oh, it's because she's a woman. It's because somebody didn't train her very well at all. Or she's just not that bright. Not because she's a girl, just because she's a person, not a bright person. Just so happened to be a girl. She did not know how to. Not not kidding you. We had to go out there and show her how to do it. It's not a joke. She's a truck driver. I had to show her how to release the kingpin, so she could uh, release her trailer. She did not know how to release her trailer. I remember like getting into the actually getting in the trailer thinking she was done and she was still pulling and yanking I'm like all right guys get out wait till she made it like she was done but she was still, her truck was still connected to the trailer so that's just my experience guys that uh Harlan Express hasn't been the best so we are going to turn off our engine um, and we're going to turn off our beacons and drop the trailer. So that's why I use them. I just, yeah, my experience. Not very good. So we are going to find another load. I was kind of hoping to find a load to... I don't know how the hell to say that. Uh, Ku, I'm not even gonna say. Kuar D L N. If anyone's from Idaho, I guess. Definitely, there's nothing there. Something to Sandpoint, maybe. Oh, there's something to Sandpoint. I don't like those trailers, but we might take it. Probably gonna take it anyways. I'm gonna take the machine parts anyways. Cause I want to go towards that way. Oh crap! I forgot. Hang on. Um, we we gotta fix fix the truck that we uh, smashed pretty good real quick. I'm gonna forget. All right, let's fix it real quick. Repair, I might fix that dash real quick. Um, I gotta go in here. Dash. You guys think the chrome? If the color, which should be gray, but for some reason it's black. Rubber, plastic, metal. Mahogany, chrome. That one almost has a more gray to it here. I'm going to leave it like this for now. I don't know if we should get the chrome one or not, but... Oh. Sucks. Yeah, we are a little further 
from our destination. I can check real quick to see if if there is maybe now anything to how do you say that? Not even. Nah. Now, like I said, there's nothing even to uh, sand point. Well, you know what we can do, even though I hate going that speed. Just, just to show you guys, because I don't think I've ever been to Coeur d'Alene. Coeur d'Alene. Coeur d'Alene. So maybe there's something in here. <gasps> yes, there's some stuff in here. Those are tires in that one. Maybe we take this one. Let's take it. We're gonna take these. Let's take it. Even. Oh, of course, it started raining again. I turned my truck off. We got about 25 miles. Can you calm down. be a good thing now about uh, my lights are on as they are um about uh oh I just turned right instead of left don't worry we'll go left there's a little FedEx maneuver there The external contracts suck because uh, I think because the 65, but I think everything else about them is pretty cool. Um, is that uh, you don't have to check in, you know, you can just go and grab them. Uh, uh, and then also, it, the time is. Stupid Schneider. Gosh, I hate those poles. Ugh. I didn't see any damage come up, so. Might still be at one wreck. Let's look at it. Yep, we're still at one wreck, which was one big giant wreck. It's a pretty bad one. I'm not gonna lie. Definitely, we ain't gonna lie here. That was a bad wreck, man. I hope you guys enjoying this truck, man. I think this truck's awesome, and I don't know why my axle's down. See, so watch that. We'll just bring that bad girl right up, because we don't, we don't need her at all unless we, you know, hauling something really heavy. Why am I turn? Oh. This is... I don't know what I'm doing today. Yeah, it's, um... I definitely like to blame it on a bad case of the Mondays. But I'm just, I don't know. Huh. We're gonna have to start with, oh, nope. Okay, we're gonna hit the pole. There's rack number two. Well, I think this is not my day at all. Come on, baby. Can you shift? Come on, thank you. Oh, no. You tell me you won't get up there. Jeez, wow. Alright, just fist my truck too. Time you might want some no damage mods, but 
plant somewhat right here. All right, we're gonna go on the stealer here. That's a cool thing here. You can just go right in and get your load. You don't have to check in, nothing. It's just a little flag. Shows you exactly where it is. You just pick it up. And you actually have, like, a lot of times 20 to 40 real-time hours to finish it. So if you only drive, like, 50 miles, and you got 600 miles, you pause it for 6 to 8 hours. And you still have, like, 15 hours before it expires, you know? Pick up these concrete tubes here. Back right into that thing. We're gonna get them all hooked up. Get our flashers on. And we're gonna head on out. I'm upgrade that a little bit. Turn off the flashers. I don't know. I use that cheating on the other side. This is more handy. You'll we'll see that side of the trailer. Still looking, all right. I actually hit that on for accident there. You notice you see the switches, it actually, the switch actually works, so that's pretty neat. So if you guys like anything about the Freightliner Classic XL, if you think, wow, um, this is definitely definitely worth twenty five dollars. It is twenty five dollars, but it's definitely worth worth your purchase. It's definitely an awesome truck. I really do enjoy it. Um, it's a lot, a lot of customization options. Sure. I can. Hopefully, no one's coming because I can't. <laughs> I stopped too late. Um, just to see if any. Uh, if I can get it to. Oh, we we're going to Coeur d'Alene. Um, if I can get it to work, I'm still working on that. We can even test drive it for you to see which one's better. Um. this one or if the uh, John Ruder version I have both I just can't get the other one to work John Ruder's I think it's, it's a couple bucks cheaper not by much um, but as what I can remember first uh, I think every I think this one's better more customizable the only thing I think John Ruder's has uh, is the uh, that I think is is probably the uh, I would say uh, is there's more paint schemes uh, but I'm sure I'm sure even steam might have something if we look to see if but yeah he's got a bunch of paint things I'm not going very fast I'm going to drop that axle that might help Well, it's not that. Uh, I know what mile is. Oh, those coils are 54,000 pounds, so. We'll only if that dropped. Yeah.
What are you gonna do, car? Just gonna stay right there. We're gonna slightly bump this car. Oh, I think he might have slowed down because, yeah, he's not being a very nice man. I mean, he won't go slower or faster, so. Alright, guys, we're out of limit. Got a lot of rain in Idaho, though. That's for sure. So. If it's not raining, it's raining. I don't think that makes sense, but. Yeah, I know. Oh look, we're going 68. A little slow. Going a little, oh no, we're going over their limits. Safely passing the bus right here. Yes, sir. But it's still, yeah, look at that, it's still very nice heavily raining here so but we'll just enjoy the rain hopefully not crash I'm kidding i'm kidding we don't crash here oh oh wait what oh yeah we did crash pretty good in that bus but i blame the bus even if i wasn't paying attention to the 35 mile an hour corner it's always the bus's fault There's some nice, beautiful trees. It would be, you know, a little nicer if it wasn't raining, but hey, it's raining. <coughs> I'll, I'll show you guys, I do. Oh, that's my installment I forgot about. So as you see, I did drop that axle down to help us. This, this is a pretty heavy load, so we'll have that drop droppable tag axle down, as you see, to uh, help a little bit. Get a nice little <coughs> outside the cab look here. A beautiful. Freight Shaker Classic XL. Sadly, it is not customizable with our, our nice doggy. Uh, um, spits so along, I forgot her name. That's not good, right? Uh, Yeah, but our nice German Shepherd we don't have. Uh, Ooh, Kudir Delane. Excuse me, Mustang. It's not a very safe thing to do, but we're gonna. Stormy, that's her name. I remember now. Her name's Stormy. A precious little Stormy cannot be with us in this truck because it's just not available. Which, yeah, it's not. Oh, look at that water there. Oops. I kind of forgot that was a break now. Okay, so that's what I meant to do. That one sucks. This one's not bad. I'll make this left turn. Yeah. Look at 
Plastic XL. Arcan our concrete tubes as well. Even an Idaho trailer. So it is an end game. I decided to just blow it. It's actually Sunday nighttime, uh, Sunday 7 p.m. in game. So everyone here in uh, Court d'Alene are probably just watching the rain from inside, wishing that they could relax outside. But they can't because it's raining before they got to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> oh, Alright, let's also we'll lift that back up because it. There we go. Because it's not. It doesn't turn. Doesn't You don't really. Can't really turn very well. It's just to help you kind of. Help you with the weight. So we'll pull that back up. I'm gonna go up to Plaster and Sons here. Screw that white car for pulling out there. And we are gonna check in right here, baby. See what they want this. They want it right there. And that's what we're gonna do. I just stalled it out there. That's okay. Pull that parking brake, turn off our engines, turn off our flashers and our beacons. We're gonna drop our trailer. We've got 53 world truck contracts completed. Um. Alright guys, so that, that's a short little part one there. We're gonna call that part one. We're gonna sleep here for the night and wake up bright and early in the morning. We're gonna take some more loads. So guys, thank you for joining me here today. Eric Lockman and Gaming. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Let, let your friends know about the channel. And guys, you be safe out there. And as always, God bless.